Okay, let's carry on with 10. Describe the right-hand rule. Describe the right-hand rule for determining a vector direction for the rotation of an object. Okay, so uh, remember if you've got objects that are moving in a straight line, straight line motion, then it is pretty simple for us to understand vector direction. Okay, it's just basically, for example, F equals mass times acceleration, right? So force is a vector, so if it's accelerating in this direction, it's easy to understand the direction of a force. But remember, the direction of something rotating is a little bit more complicated, but very easy to understand. So we've already discussed this in the earlier videos. The direction of uh, something rotating, uh, what we do is we use the right hand rule. So if it's rotating in this kind of fashion, we curl our hands like that. And our thumb is then the direction of the vector. So when something's rotating, we curl our fingers in, in the direction or the 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 the, rot the sense of rotation um, of that object, and then our thumb is then the direction of that vector. Or, if we have the direction of of the uh, the vector in a rotational sense, we put our thumb in that direction, and then that is the the way that the object is rotating is based on our fingers. Okay. All right. Well. Here's another thing which um, I'd like to just show you is, say now you have an object and uh, it's rotating about that point and we have a force there, okay? And we would like to determine the direction of the torque, okay? So torque, we know torque, external is R cross F. Okay, so remember it's the cross product, the cross product. So, uh, what do we do? How do we determine the, the direction? Let's forget about determining the magnitude of the torque. We just want to find the direction. Okay, so, right, that's the line of action of the force. Then we need to determine the perpendicular distance, which is also a vector. Let's call it R perpendicular. So, if we want to find the direction of the torque, then what we do is it is equal to R cross F. So that means that we put our fingers in the direction of R we, from this point, right? That's our position vector there for R. Okay, it's the position vector R from the point of rotation or the pivot point towards uh, the force. And then we curl it in the direction of the force. So you go in the direction of the position vector and you curl it in the direction of the second vector. So it's the same as saying vector C is A cross B. So if you've got vector A and you've got vector B, then it is you put your fingers in the direction of the first vector and you curl it in the direction of the second vector. And as you do this, you'll see that in this specific case, the direction is then your thumb, which is pointing out of the page. It's coming out of the page, All right? But if, say now, this force was in that direction, say now the force was being applied in that direction, you, your fingers would go in the direction of the position vector and curl in that direction, which means then your thumb would go into the page. All right, so those are a couple of examples. Um, I think the rest are pretty straightforward. Okay, I'll end this video on that note.